Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b squared. This is equal to 4. Let's call this equation 1. And then we have a times b. This is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 2. Now, what is the value of a plus b from here? Given that a is not equal to 0, then that b is not equal to 0. Now, from equation 1, from equation 1, which is a squared minus b squared, this is equal to 4. So, a squared minus b squared, this is in the form of the difference of two squares expressed as x squared minus y squared, then this can be expressed as x plus y, x minus y. So applying this identity, then here, a squared minus b squared can be expressed as a plus b, then a minus b, this is equal to 4. Now the next step from here, let's square both signs from here, so that now, here we have, this is equal to 4 to the power of 2. So a plus b, this is the same thing, a plus b times a minus b raised to the power of 2. This can be expressed as a plus b raised to the power of 2, multiplied by a minus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 4 squared, and this is equal to 16. Now, a plus b raised to the power of 2, this is actually in the form of x plus y raised to the power of 2. And this can be expressed as x squared plus y squared, then plus 2xy. So applying this algebraic identity, then we have here a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Then multiplying by, here we have a minus b raised to the power of 2. This can be expressed as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 16. The next step from here, we have that a, b here, this is what we have in equation 2. Equation 2, we have a times b, this is equal to 2. So let's substitute a, so that now we have a squared plus b squared plus 2 times 2, then we have a squared plus b squared, then minus 2 times 2, cross the parenthesis, this is equal to 16. So here we have a squared plus b squared, then plus 2 times 2, this is 4. Then we have here a squared plus b squared minus 2 times 2, which is 4. This is equal to 16. So now, from here, a squared plus b squared, this is the same thing as x. And we have 4, this is the same thing as y. The same case here, this is the same thing as x, and this is the same thing as y. So this implies that here, we have x plus y, multiplied by x minus y, and this is actually equal to x squared minus y squared. So let us press this into applying this identity so that now, therefore applying this identity, then we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. Then subtract 4 to the power of 2. This is equal to 16. The next step is that we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 minus 4 squared. This is equal to 16. Then this is equal to 16. Let's take minus 16 on the right hand side so that now we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 16 plus 16. 
and this implies that here we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 32. So this implies that we can express a squared plus b squared. This is by introducing a square root on both sides. So that we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of that 2. The next step is that let's eliminate the square root sign here so that we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of that 2, which we can express as 16 times 2. So this implies that a squared plus b squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4, then square root of 2. So in this case, we have two values of a squared plus b squared. This is equal to, we have plus 4, square root of 2. And then we have again here, a squared plus b squared. This is equal to minus 4 square root of 2. Now, the next step we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2, then plus 2ab. Now, starting with a squared plus b squared, which is positive 4 square root of 2, we can substitute in this part here. So that now, a plus b raised to the power of 2, this is equal to, now we have 4 square root of 2 then plus now we have 2 multiplying by a times b a times b is what we have in equation 2 which is equal to 2 so let's substitute 2 here so that now a plus b raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 4 square root of 2 then plus 2 times 2 which is 4 now, you find that 4 is common here, so this means we can factor out 4 into the parentheses. Here we have square root of 2 plus 1. So this is what is a plus b raised to the power of 2. Now we have a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 4 into the parentheses square root of 2 plus 1. To solve for a plus b, we introduce a square root on both sides. So that we have a plus b raised to the power of 2 here. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 into the parentheses square root of 2 plus 1. The next step is that we eliminate the square root sign here. So that a plus b is equal to, now we have plus or minus the square root of 4. This is equal to 2. Then we have the square root of, now, root 2 plus 1. So this is the first value of a plus b. This is the first value of a plus b. Plus or minus 2, square root of root 2 plus 1. Then we have that, from the second phase here, we have that a squared plus b squared, this is minus 4, square root of, that is a squared plus b squared this is equal to minus 4 square root of 2 now given that a plus b raised to the power of 2 this is the same thing as a squared plus b squared then plus 2 a b again let's substitute a squared b squared which is minus 4 square root of 2 so we have minus 4 square root of 2 then plus 2 times a times b a times b here is 2 so that now we have minus 4 square root of 2 plus 2 times 2 which is 4 so this can be expressed as 4 minus 4 square root of 2 and given that 4 is common here we can factor out 4 into the parentheses we have 1 minus square root of 2 so this is what is a plus b raised to the power of 
2. So we can solve for a plus b by introducing the square root on both sides. So we have square root of a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of. Now here we have 4. Into the parentheses, we have 1 minus square root of 2. So that now we eliminate the square root sign here. So that a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4. This is 2. Then we have the square root. Then we have 1 here minus roots. We have root 2 here. So this is the second value of a plus b. That is plus or minus 2. Then square root of 1 minus root 2. So we have two values of a plus b. That is we have a. a plus b is plus or minus 2 square root of root 2 plus 1. And here we have a plus b is equal to plus or minus 2 square root of 1 minus root 2. So can you follow the steps like this video? and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now